Hello there, stamping friends. It's Jackie Ballhuis from Clomp and Stampers. I have a quick and easy fun fold card for you today. Now I know we kind of stopped doing the fun fold classes because we switched them to something else, but I still love fun folds. And I have a really fun, easy one to share with you that just like when we made all the templates, you can make this with any stamps, ink, and paper. If you want to, go ahead and even make yourself a template and throw it in your shoebox with all your other templates because it's a great fun fold. So let's flip the camera down and let's get to work. So we're using the Inked and Tiled stamp set again. I know I have used this one a lot, but it's my favorite and I just keep going back to it. So if you've purchased it by now, you should have tons of ideas to do with it. Um, we even featured this in one of our fun fold classes with lots of fun folds. So many, many ideas. Okay, we're gonna start with just a half sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna score it at my normal four and a quarter here. Um, and I'm also going to score it at two and an eighth. Now, don't worry about all these measurements I'm gonna share. They're gonna all be over on the blog post that goes along with this video. I'll have a list of all the supplies that I'm using, as well as all the measurements and a picture of the card I have to share with you. Actually, I got two to share with you. So let's go ahead and we are going to fold this. So we're gonna fold it in half at that first score line. I always like to use my bone folder because I like those nice, really crisp edges. And we folded it back. Now we've done a lot of fun folds that kind of start this way and then it's a matter of what we do next to it. Um, and this is kind of no exception when it comes to that. So let's grab our adhesive. I have um, a couple pieces. I think these are two inches or so. Um, I don't know which side do I want. I think, yeah, we're going to go this way. Um, we're going to go ahead. The glue didn't work. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stick some adhesive on here. And we're going to take two of these pieces. We're going to put one on the outside, like so. And then we're going to open it up and we're going to put another one here. Now you could do different prints if you wanted. I kept these, I just kind of like the, I guess, consistent look of having the same ones there. So we're gonna put that one right there. So there is the base of our card. Now let's go ahead and make our focal point next. So I've already cut these out using my die cut machine. These are the nested essential dies. You've seen me use these quite a bit. I gotta use these more. I haven't done a whole lot with the banner ones, but I've used the round rectangles a lot and then this, whatever you call the shape. And we're going to go ahead and start with the smaller one, our very vanilla, and we're gonna stamp, let's see, first our flowers on there with crushed curry, and then we're gonna add some leaves with pool party. So let's just kind of stick those right in there like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and add it onto this one. And since, you know, there's not like any cutout images, we're gonna just go ahead and use some dimensionals on our layers because that'll give us that dimension that we always like. So let's stick that on there. And now we're gonna add our linen thread around this. You know me, everything's gotta have linen thread. But I need to grab my scotch tape. So for this one, I want to wrap this around. Let's just figure out how long it needs to be. And we're gonna go around two times and snip it off and we're gonna end up tying a bow there. But it's kind of hard to keep it right in the middle. So this is where I like to just use a piece of scotch tape. I'll take just a little tiny piece here and I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna put the tape way over on that side. Now when I'm looking at it, it's on the left side and you'll know why here in just a second. But that'll hold it in place, otherwise I found it wants to either slip down or slip up because it gets narrower and I wanted it to stay in the middle. So little tip, um, if your linen thread doesn't stay where you want it to stay. Then, okay, let's just adjust our little bows like so. You know what, that's not laying how I want it. So you're gonna get a second linen thread tip here. If a bow doesn't lay where you want it, and this could be with any ribbon, what I do is I just take a mini glue dot here. We're gonna pick it off with my piercing tool. And I kinda like 
roll it up into a little ball and then you can stick it underneath that bow and stick the bow down to it. Oops, we kind of missed. There we go. Now it's gonna stay exactly where I want it. So if you ever have a bow that doesn't, doesn't wanna play the way you want it to play, that's another little tip for you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and stick this onto the front of our card. And I'm gonna use dimensionals because it's gonna hang over that edge. Now this is why I also said to, if you're gonna put scotch tape on the back, I wanted it way over on this edge. So when I stick this on here, okay, now you should, I mean, most people should open the card that way, but if they open it this way, this is where you, I didn't want that scotch tape showing. So there is that, kind of normal. We've made a lot of cards like this before and we just put an inside layer. But for this one, our inside layer is actually going to be a card that opens up like so. So we've made one card, and this is almost like making a second card here. We're gonna call this our inside card. So I'm gonna stamp my inside pretty, just like if this was its own thing. So we'll put some flowers. Let's just put a few flowers on there. And then we're gonna grab, um, what is this one? Lost Lagoon, because I want something just a little bit darker than that pool party. And I am loving the combination of, and you can see it here, this is Lost Lagoon and that's Pool Party. So those two colors go together so nicely. And we're gonna just go ahead and right down at the bottom, put just a note. And then since this is a second card, we're gonna open it up because we always stamp the inside of our cards and we'll kind of stamp the same sort of thing. We'll put a flower there and then let's put one of our leaves down here as well. And we're also going to use another greeting that these are both from the same set that just says, hello, friend. So this is a very all occasion, send it just because um, card, but we're leaving it um, pretty much just, you know, lots of room to write on there. Now we can go ahead and we're going to put adhesive on the back of our inside card and we're going to stick it right there just like so. So now when we close it, you can see the just a note there. And then when we open it up, it'll open that way and that way. And we can write just a nice little message on there. So easy peasy card, um, but it's just kind of a fun, easy fun fold. So I hope you like it. I hope you don't mind me showing the stamp set again, because I love the stamp set and I use it all the time. Um, I also have another easy fun fold that I've made using the stamp set and this paper. And I'll show pictures of that one over on the website. So make sure you check the description of the blog, the description of this video for the link to the blog post. And you'll see this card, grab all the measurements, colors and supply lists, as well as another really easy fun fold I've done with these same products. So I hope you check that out and share this video with your stamping friends. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. I come at least once a week with quick and easy stamping ideas. So if there's any questions or we can help you in any way, make sure to leave us a comment or reach out. We're here to help you however we can to make quick and easy cards. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.